Hope. Hello. Greetings from the Mad Science Lab. My name is Mad Andrea. Today, we are gonna be talking about air pressure. Have you ever wanted to defy gravity in your own home? Well, I'm gonna show you how. All you need is a straw, uh, reusable or single use only, whatever you have available, and a ping pong ball, maybe more than one. So what we're gonna be doing is using Bernoulli's principle. And that is a principle of science that tells us fast moving air will create a drop in pressure. So what we do is you just bend the straw and your lung power is gonna create the fast moving air. Okay, so we're gonna blow through the straw and then place the ball into the column of air. And there'll be a pocket of low pressure underneath and above the ball. That's gonna help us achieve lift. So here we go. Just like that, I'm gonna do it one more time. Right, easy cheesy. So you can do it this way with the straw and your lung power, or you can get a senior scientist, a grown up's help, and you can use even faster moving air with a hair dryer. So we're gonna turn on the hair dryer, have our column of fast moving air going up, place ping pong balls into the column of air being sure not to touch the hair dryer because obviously that's gonna be a little warm. So I'm gonna do this, be a little noisy for a moment, just observe. Pretty cool, right? Define gravity. Let's see, let's put those toilet paper seeds to good use, okay? We are going to learn about SkyTel messages today. What will you need? You will need um, a cylinder. It could be a paper towel roll or um, toilet paper roll. We have some fancy shiny ones here. You will need scissors, tape, a marker, paper, and a secret message to send. So what do you do? You're going to wrap the paper around the cylinder. Um, tape holds it in place for our junior scientists. And then you write your message straight across. Um, so I have one here that I've written. And on the cylinder, you can read the message. I spy cookies and I want to, okay? Um, but when you remove it from there, it looks a little bit different. So you can fold this up and send it to someone. The only catch is they have to know what size cylinder did you use so they can decode the message. All right, now you get out and send your own secret messages. If you wanna look for more at-home experiments, go to Google and look for your closest men science location. Thanks so much, have a great day. I okay. miss all the fun experiments with Andrea. Uh, However, we have one. Yes, we've got one, of course, from our friends over there at Mad Science of Austin and San Antonio. The exploding sandwich bag. What could possibly go wrong, all right? And, and that's why we're outside name. here. Yes, that's why we're We're doing outside. the kitchen sink because it's going to get messy. Mm -hmm. So we have got a mm -hmm. quarter cup of hot water. We actually added some food coloring so you can see this a little bit better. And also we put some uh, dish soap in there. And then this is a half a cup of vinegar, again, with some food coloring in there. Now I'm gonna see if this is gonna sit still while I do, uh, it's not gonna stand up for me. I'm gonna hold this in that cup, cup. like that temporarily. Okay. And yeah. can you get it? Okay, yeah, yeah, now yeah, the I other thing is take then. Uh, three teaspoons of baking soda in the middle of a tissue and then wrap the tissue up uh -huh. by folding it around the baking soda. Okay, we did. Okay. So we're gonna go like this and go like this. Okay. Okay, so we've got They're that part. Now, okay. partially. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Whoa, whoa, we're losing whoa. everything. So partially close the plastic bag. I don't wanna lose my. And then okay. drop the tissue paper in there. And this is the part where it goes really quickly. So we have to. All right, let me do this. So I've got this partially closed and I'm gonna drop this in here and then seal it up real quickly, so. And then I'm gonna stand back and see what happens Never. because obviously the liquid's gonna dissolve the tissue paper and then it's going to, the vinegar is start, going to start to react with the baking soda and it's gonna create Okay, yep. Gas, here, here we, we go, create. okay. It's gonna create gas. <laughs> What's happening is the baking soda and the vinegar are slowly mixing, as you said, creating that acid base reaction. Okay, here it goes, it's going. Oh my gosh. Mine's going. Okay. Well, it's got some room to expand, which is what it needs. And there it's gonna it keep filling until, until it, keeps, until, <laughs> until it <laughs> finds its way out. My guess is through the top. I'm, oh, and it's I'm, aiming straight. I'm glad we're upwind. 
Oh, oh that one's gonna pop. <laughs> so much wind. Again, We're gonna do this up here outside. Afterwards. You know, and this is the same principle mm -hmm. as those. If you've probably seen the baking soda and vinegar uh, rockets, you can build using a uh, two-liter soda bottle and some fins on it. Hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. I don't. Need, I don't know if it's gonna be strong enough to bust out of that bag. Did yeah. You seal it pretty. You seal. I it sealed it up tight. all the way so the pressure would build up. Okay. All right. All right. All Next right. on I say live.